But you guys got a quick video here for your Microsoft killed off WordPad. Here's how to restore it on Windows 11. Now, if you're rocking Windows 11 23 H2, which is what I'm doing right here, you'll notice that WordPad is still uh, on the actual operating system. If you have a virtual machine or something like that, you can then copy these files and copy them over to Windows 11 24 H2 and use them on there. So let's quickly take a look here. So in our C drive, inside program files, if we go inside here and we come down to where it says Windows NT, click on this one right here. And then once we go inside here, we want to go to accessories. And this is where all your WordPad files are. So if you're one of those people that use WordPad and are a little bit disappointed that Microsoft removed it, then all you need to do is copy these files. So I'm going to quickly copy these files to another location so I can then put them onto a Windows 11 24 H2 version of Windows. So I've just copied them into this empty folder. It would help if I spelled WordPad properly there, but it's okay. I'll correct that later. So now what I'm going to do is right click here. And what we're going to do is zip these files up so we can transfer them to another machine. So if you've got say a USB flash drive, you can then copy these files over by using your USB flash drive or upload them to uh, OneDrive or Google Drive or whatever it is that you use for cloud storage. So here I am on Windows 11 24 H2. And if we type Winver here, you'll see that we are running Windows 11 24 H2 here. And this unfortunately has the WordPad removed from it. This is what Microsoft have decided to do. They've gotten rid of WordPad. A lot of people use WordPad. So if you want to get it back, it's that simple. You can just basically get these files from previous versions. So inside our C drive, go back into programs files, then into Windows NT and into accessories, you'll see the files are missing. And that's because Microsoft in their infinite wisdom decided to remove them because they decided that no one wanted to use it anymore. Whereas millions of people still use WordPad. So let's go ahead and we're going to copy this file over here and we're going to copy it to this machine. And there is our uh, zip file with our WordPad files inside. So what I'm going to do is we're going to extract all of these files. So let's go ahead and open this up. And I can quickly highlight all of these files and I can copy these and I can copy them to this location. So let's go ahead and do that right here. I'm going to go to our file explorer, go to our PC and then C drive then go to program files. Then we want to go into Windows NT, into accessories, and then we're going to right click here and paste all of these files into this location. You might see this bo box popping up here, that's fine. Just do this for all of the files and folders, and we're just going to copy that in right there. You now have WordPad back on your system. Click on this and you now have WordPad. It's that simple. Now, if you are looking to download these files, be very careful where you download these files from because you might have malware contained in these if you're not careful. So always do your research and make sure you're getting these from a good known source if you can't uh, get your hands on a, say, Windows 11 23H2 or all Windows 10 versions that have this WordPad files on them. They work on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you want to create a shortcut, all you need to do here is right click on the desktop, go shortcut and click new. And now we can go to that location. So this PC your C drive, then program files, and then go into Windows NT here, and then accessories, and you can see wordpad.exe. And now we're gonna select that one right here, and then we're gonna go next. You can give it another name if you want to make it more prettier. So go to wordpad here, just like so. Make sure you spell it right, and click finish, and that's it. You're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and click finish. And there we have our shortcut now of course you can drop this shortcut wherever you like now if you wanted this to uh, go into your programs you can do you can drop this in startup you can also drop it to your taskbar if you wanted to do that you can do it's quite straightforward and easy to do just right click on the shortcut right here and what we're going to do is just put this onto the taskbar like so and there we go that's simple so that's how you can get wordpad back 
onto uh, your Windows 11 24H2 version or versions of Windows that have had it removed. There is websites out there that offer this download as well, like sites like this. I've heard that there's a clean report for the files on this site. So if that is the case, then uh, download it and use this if you can't get your hands on it. But again, I would advise getting it off of a system. So it'd be easy to set up a virtual machine, install Windows 11 for 23H2 and copy the files that way rather than downloading them off the internet because that way you know it's from a trusted source. This file has been packaged as you can see here. So it's an install file. Again, it's not separate files. So you don't know what's contained inside here. So be very careful when you're downloading files off the internet. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Sorry, I've not made videos in the last couple of days. I've been recovering from an operation and uh, hopefully I will be back in full flow very soon. So anyway, but that said, I think my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you're looking for a free office suite as well, you can always use LibreOffice. That is completely free and that has all of the same features that Microsoft Office offer and it is 100% free. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.